Hey guys, let's go over the cast modifier. It's actually a pretty cool modifier to utilize and you can add cast modifier on top of cast modifier to kind of do things to your mesh, which is really cool. So let's get started with a new one of these. Let me just pull it out over here. Get rid of all the modifiers. We'll go through this process. Uh, so first up, if you're not familiar with the cast modifier, a lot of times it's shown in tutorials to take a uh, cube, you subdivide it by hitting control one through five, and then you add the cast modifier, right? And that turns it into a quad sphere. So that's just one use for it. But there's other things it can do too. Obviously, you just saw it, right? So let's go ahead and not use that. Let's use this instead with a cast. All right. And you can see instantly it's going to try to turn it into um, an olive or something. I don't know. But here's the thing. We can use it with an empty. So shift A, create an empty plane axis or cube or whatever you want here. They're all the same. They just have different looks. You can even change them if you wanted to. So you can. You change the way it looks anyways. We'll just use this one for now. And this base mesh here, this was Boolean Ingon and then Quadri mesh. So if you're just wondering how I came up with this thing, um, that's what that is. Now, cast modifier. We can eye drop the empty. Okay. See what's going on. All right. So we can control what's going on now. Here's the thing. You can change the radius. Crank it up a little bit. It might not do anything at first, but you need to keep cranking it up probably. Okay. And so we can do this, right? A lot of times it's better to use it a little bit larger than you think you should. But yeah, we can definitely do that. If we want to shrink it down, we could. So it's going to look so, so it doesn't look like real great or anything as it is right now. But if you add the subdivision after you just hit control two in this case, uh, subdivide subdivision modifier afterwards, It'll look a little bit better, basically. That's all. It's going to kind of smooth things down and make it look a little bit nicer. Let's change that radius. All right, so that's that's that, but you can use it with vertex groups as well. So you take a piece of your mesh. If you don't know how to create a vertex group, let's just go over that real quick. Basically, you go to this little panel down here. You click plus sign, select some vertices, and you can assign them to a vertex group. You can create more groups if you want to. That's one way of doing it. There's a faster way of doing this, though. And we can simply um, go ahead and select some faces or edges or whatever. And we hit Control G and assign to vertex group. Boom. And all those will be assigned as a vertex group. Now, so if we were to go ahead and uh, we can stack, stack, stack some of these uh, casts together, right? We'll do a new empty. We'll do another cast modifier. We'll pick this empty. We'll use the vertex group. All right, so now we can also do things like this, and you guessed it, we can put that before the subdivision, change the radius to what we want it to be. We can make little uh, deformations on our surfaces like this, basically. And I'm sure there's other cool uh, use cases of the cast modifier, but I find myself mostly just using it for the spherical um, setup there. But you can definitely change the cast from a sphere to a cylinder or a cube shape, anyways. So, but I found this sphere to be the most useful um, for my own work anyways. But yeah, now you can go around and have fun doing whatever you want with this thing. And it just gets really interesting when you make certain kinds of um, setups anyways. So like, you know, if I do control G now and try to do a vertex group, you can see I can assign to active group, boom. And that's just going to be, you'll see, right? Just little cool things you can do with it. You want to animate that somehow i guess that would be really good too um we pull it all the way out here we can make the uh, radius really large we'll push like all the way through the mesh you see doesn't cut the mesh up unfortunately but uh, i don't know it's an idea i guess if you wanted to try to do something like that probably in the center would be better for that one Anyways, yeah, so you can deform your mesh with cast modifier. You can make interesting edits. It's fun. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Check out the next one.